What is going on everybody? Yvonne here. Now, I'm not sure if you guys have ever edited a video before, but if you have, you probably know that it's a very long and intensive process. A lot of times there's a lot of cutting, modifying, and overall repetitive tasks. And that's exactly where platforms like Glinged AI come in because they do a lot of that repetitive work for you. But can AI fully replace human efforts or is it more of the hybrid version where AI and humans work together? In this video, we're going to be exploring these questions by comparing traditional video editing with Gling.ai. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. Now, how does Gling.ai work? Pretty much the main goal of the platform is whenever you guys throw any type of video clip in, it's able to remove awkward pauses, background noise, and different stuff like that. So essentially, instead of you guys sitting there and cutting up the video step by step, and which takes a while, trust me, it does that for you. And other parts of the video editing process, like adding captions, removing different background noises, it can also do as well. And the cool thing about this platform is that it essentially integrates with pretty much every big video editing platform out there, ranging from Premiere Pro to Final Cut to Filmora to even iMovie, and it integrates with all of them. Now, how does it look like under the hood. You can go ahead and just drag your guys' clips into here or pull them from your guys' video editing software. Now I'm gonna go ahead and go over this example project to see what it's like under the hood. So let's go ahead and click on it. And as you guys see, Kling.ai already removed all the awkward pauses every single time we had to redo it to pretty much deliver us the final product. So we can actually see all the cuts that are removed and we can go ahead and skip over them to actually view the final video. So if we play it, it goes to the final video and we can see exactly what it's gonna be like. And to these different parts of the video, we can go ahead and throw in smart captions, add jump cuts, B-rolls, or even enhance the audio for it. And if there's a certain part of the video that it removed and we didn't want it to remove, all we need to do is just press this little scissor option here and boom, this part is gonna be back. But if we go ahead and play this specific part, it's not gonna be the thing that we actually wanna play. However, if we play this part here, we can actually see that this is one of the takes that didn't go well that AI initially caught on and caught out. So the main goal of this platform and what I've seen people use it for is for any kind of video, whenever you guys have to repeat something a couple times and then you have to edit it out, Gleng.ai does it for you. And it does so pretty smoothly and it can even add Add jump cuts to it as well. And if you guys ever need help with brainstorming, it can also help you guys out when it comes to titles or chapters. But once you guys removed any mistakes that were in you guys' video and added your guys' smart captions, jump cuts, or B-roll, what happens next? From there, you guys can go ahead and press export and you can throw your guys' file directly from here to an Adobe Premiere. And it's not going to give you just that one MP4 file. It's going to show all the cuts that were made in the process. And that way, you can actually make further changes in Adobe Premiere, Final Cut, or any other platform that you guys use. Because not sure if you guys have ever been in this boat, but but a lot of times when I'm working with tools like that, whenever I export it out, I can't really make further changes after because usually it would just come in an MP4 type format and that way I can't make any changes to it. But what I personally like about Gling is the fact that I can actually throw it into a video editing software and I can actually see all the changes that are made to it and I can build on top of that. Because usually when adjusting your guys' audio or fixing mistakes or editing captions, that just takes a lot of time. Sure, it can all be done within Final Cut or Premiere Pro. However, it just takes a while. And that's what tools like Gling are for because we can do all the tedious work in here and then throw it into a video editing software. So overall, the biggest pros of traditional video editing is that there's a lot more you can do on there. You can go ahead and control every part of you guys' narrative and any type of detail or an idea that you guys have, you can go ahead and make in there. However, honestly, it just takes a while, especially when it comes to correcting mistakes or adding captions. And that's where platforms like Gling can really come in. Now, I'm not saying they can do the entire creative process from start to finish, but what I am saying is that they can do a lot of the manual work for you guys. That very first step, whenever you guys have that raw file and you're looking to take out mistakes or fix your guys audio or add captions it can do for you and then from there you take that file that was able to make for you and then throw it into final cut or premiere pro and you can build on top of that and that hybrid approach is what i think the future holds for us because right now social media is growing like crazy and for different things like podcasts and interviews this thing can be a game changer like come on try to take out all the mistakes in premiere pro it's going to take you forever or even worse add captions one by one but cinematic storytelling and visual effects are still way better in traditional platforms so by combining the two worlds together, you can make something really great. And if you guys want to try out the platform completely for free, the link for it is going to be below down in the description. Once you guys click on the link, all you got to do is just press start for free, press sign up, go ahead and enter your guys' email that you guys want to use, and boom, you guys are going to be ready to go. And there you have it, folks. As you guys saw, AI is revolutionizing video editing by removing a lot of the tedious tasks you guys had to do in the past. However, traditional editing is still going to be essential if you want to maintain that creative control over you guys' story. So the best approach is going to be hybrid model where you can have the best of both worlds. And as I mentioned before, if you guys do want to try out the platform, the link for it is going to be below down in the description. If you guys found this video helpful, please make sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this as it tremendously helps support the channel. Till next time, peace.